joining me right now for more analysis on tax reform and the markets. Bell Point Chief Strategist David Nelson. I don't know. I mean, you, you, you know, look, I, I think the House can get it done, but the Senate, that's a whole other thing. Are, are investors uh, being overly optimistic right now? I, I think they are. And uh, I think there's some measure of tax reform, you know, uh, in this market right now. I think the odds, you know, if you asked me four weeks ago, I would have put it 50-50. Right now, I'm, I'm not so sure. I think it's a pretty difficult test to get it through a Senate where you've already got a couple of senators coming out on the record. You've got the senior senator from Wisconsin, Ron Johnson, Susan Collins, mm -hmm. uh, Flakes and Corker. They're getting out of Dodge. You know, they mm -hmm. have no allegiance here. So who knows what they'll do? And you can't lose any more than two. So it's problematic. Can't they, can't they do something, though, to make this a little bit better and to make it a little less problematic? Uh, gosh, I, I, I wish mean, they corporate could. taxes, lower corporate taxes. If, I think that's one thing that, if, you know, neither party is going to disagree when, with. And, and that may be what we end up with. We may end up uh, pushing some of this aside and start focusing on, you know, tax reform light. And if we can get nothing done but getting that tax rate down to 20 percent where it should be and start to bring home, go to a territorial system, yeah. start to bring home the nearly 300, 3 trillion sitting offshore, that's at least something, and it's okay. a step in the right direction. But it's direction. the way the CBO accounts for this stuff, right? I mean, the CBO is not But we're not using not dynamic gonna... scoring. Right. Okay. So, therefore, I don't know as you can ever get that done, because how are you going to pay for it? I think even without tax reform, we could have a, a, a GDP at 2.5 percent. I really think we can get to three, possibly even higher, if you start to bring that money home. Oh, I, I agree with you. I think you could be looking at 4 or 5 percent. But I don't know as I like the, the individual side of this so much. I mean, my concern here is... It works for corporations. I don't know if it works for individuals. And the middle class gets a, you know, an extra yeah, but thousand these, bucks. These individuals okay. work for the corporations, and but, that's how they get their paycheck. No, but I'm going to hear me out here because also it penalizes high earners, especially in states well, like. Well, then, then you're, you you're know, in my wheelhouse because then you do what Ted Cruz wanted to do. You wanted to have a flat tax across the board. At the lower end, you had some multiple of the poverty level, mm -hmm. no tax, including no payroll tax. Mm -hmm. That's the better way to go, but that's impossible to get through this Congress. And you've got a, uh, you know, an army of lobbyists like locusts in Washington mm -hmm. pushing for every special interest group. Well, I keep saying this top. is the swamp at work. You look at the private equity. The you and I have alive. talked about this. Swamp is alive and well. <laughs> uh, the, the president, we have the sound campaigned over and over and over again to get rid of this uh, private equity loophole. We don't have it, oh, but I've showed interest, it to you before. Yeah. Carried interest. So basically private equity bankers get away with paying... Uh, you know, they it, pay the cap gains, it, it, cap gains tax, instead tax, of income low. tax. And he promised he would fix that. He said he wanted to fix that. So I combed through both bills. Guess what? They didn't bother to fix it, David. No, they didn't bother to fix it because, look, at money speaks very loudly. And it, it, overall, it's not a huge amount of money. But no, to it's them, not. you're talking about billions of dollars. It, it, it's it's. It, to them, it's not a ton of money. In other words, it's not going to save the budget. But it's really one of these principal things. But they have campaigns that need to get financed. And a lot of those private equity guys are financing their campaigns so they don't dare they vote any other way. Themselves. And this is, in fact, the problem. And this is what Americans are so upset with. It borders on the criminal. And it, it's, it's unfortunate. Uh, but it's the world we live in. OK, so how do we think about the market if tax reform doesn't uh, get look through? Look, I'm actually surprised. You know what? Well, maybe I shouldn't be surprised. It is a holiday week. We've got a lot to be thankful for. Uh, but, you know, it's this time of year that we kind of let our guard down. And the headline risk, I think, is, is pretty high. Uh, but we have geosynchronous growth around the world. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you take tax reform aside, earnings are headed north and stocks are going to follow them right along All with right. it as I long like as it, it does that. I like it. And uh, as long as we can keep up this this level in GDP uh, and hopefully keep growing and jobs in good shape. All right. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you.